I would just like to point out I'm still 12. Whoa. <laughs> uh, I'll be 13 soon. Kindergarten started and I learned what I was and wasn't supposed to be. They would laugh at me whenever I stumbled over my words and the teachers didn't do anything about it. I still stumble when I get nervous. When third grade came, I saw that teachers favored, favored one student over another, rich kids who wore short shorts but never quite seemed to get dress coded. Speaking of which, have you ever seen a boy get dress coded? Teachers say it is a distraction to the male students. But shouldn't we be teaching the boys not to get distracted instead of telling the girls to hide their shoulders? Yeah. Uh. Most of the girls I knew dropped out. They said the school wasn't right for them, but I knew better. We were all stuck in a box. Being told what we could and couldn't do, what we could and couldn't like, have long hair, wear makeup, get used to heels because boys won't like you if you're not. Choke back our tears and bite our tongues in class told to shut it when we started thinking for ourselves. Told that if we liked a boy, then we had to wait for him to ask. This should not be the definition of education. Now I'm in seventh grade, and I think about what I want to see in high school. Education meaning everyone having a chance to learn everything, meaning equal rights. Learning thinking and acting. Stop saying that education means standardized tests. No more common core. Woo! We devote the beginnings of our lives to school and it's all decided by and it's all decided by adults who have never taught a day in their life. <coughs> we need to make education real again. Let the students decide the dress code. Let the students have a voice. <laughs>